Hey everyone, welcome back to Care Fiction. I'm your host Subhankar. As someone who has been playing Dungeons and Dragons for a long time, I am excited to see a wordy big screen adaptation of the role-playing game. This may sound weird, but even if you don't play the games but follow fantasy fiction, I would suggest that you take a look into the world of D&D because of its enormous world-building, lore, and settings. It has an array of creatures and monsters. And speaking of creatures, let's stick to what this video is about. The Honor Among Thieves trailer features two of my favorite creatures. Owl Bear and Mimic. For starters, we are going to explore Owl Bears, but about the Mimic and others in the upcoming videos. Before we begin, this video is meant for both players and non-players alike, so I wouldn't go into the creature mechanics of the game. Let's begin by looking at what inspired the creature design. Because let's be real, it's an odd creature. Gary Gygax, one of the co-designers of the game, introduced the Owl Bear to D&D in 1975. While he was developing the game and finding new monsters, he came across a set of plastic toys labeled prehistoric animals, most likely from Hong Kong. These toys were meant to resemble monsters from Ultraman and other kaiju-based shows. Now that's a real-life origin story. So let's look at the D&D universe origin story. The game comes with something called the Monster Manual which is a bestiary of all the creatures developed for the game. Over the course of years, many such source books have been created, and each adds something new to the story behind the owl bears. So let's get acquainted with some. In spite of the fragmented origin stories, many are certain that an owl bear is probably the product of a mad wizard's experiments, and we know how insane mad wizards can be. However, many elders of elves maintain that the owl bears have existed for thousands of years. The Fae or the Fairies claim that the Owl Bears lived in the Feywild, which is like another plane of existence or dimension. Owing to the avian nature of the Owl Bear, it is believed that they were created by one of the creator races, presumably the Airy. They are the avian creator race who created avian humanoids. An Owl Bear obviously is a cross between a bear and an owl, with the body of a bear and the head of an owl. Their average height is about 8 feet and they weigh about 700 kg. It has a reputation for its ferocity, aggression, and stubbornness. They are known to dwell in dens and emerge to hunt from sunset to sunrise. Scavenging in dense forests, they usually hunt alone or in pairs. Besides their ability to see through darkness or low light, they also have a keen sense of smell. Although they are intelligent than most animals, they are difficult to tame. So better not to go all out owing ready on them. However, with time and luck, you can tame them. Some elven communities do use owl bears to guard against attacks during the night. They might look kind of cute, but they are carnivorous predators. In the Cormantir forest, which is a territory that belonged to the elves, the owl bears ate through their food supply. And so due to scarcity of food, their population dwindled, but soon they started feeding on harvester termites, but had to compete with other predators. So that is all about the owl bears from the Dungeons and Dragons universe. In the movie, it seems like a tiefling druid can transform into an owl bear, which is possible. So what do you think about owl bears? And most importantly, did you like the D&D movie trailer? I know I loved it, so let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and see you soon.